Hello, my name is Gyalda. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna film a fragrance haul for you guys. I got a bunch of decants and samples inside of this bag right here. Don't look at this, classified, CIA, FBI. Don't come to my house, please. So basically I will show you guys all the different sizes of the decants and then I will tell you how it smells and rate them at the end. So please subscribe to me and let's get into the video. This is something that came inside the packaging. I don't know what the fuck it is. You guys don't care about this. No, no litter. You see it came like this. So there's three sizes. This is the smallest size you'll find on their website. I think it's less than one milliliter. I got two. And then I got two that are three mLs. You see, I'll show you guys closer after. And then this is the big boys. Can you open it? Oh, look at that. I don't want stubborn. I opened one already. I want to just see how it looks like. So I'll just show you one by one now how the bigger ones look. These are five ml decants. This is Prada Amber for um. As you can see. Ooh. You know. I can smell it from here. It smells pretty nice. I smelled it before obviously because I opened it. Look at the other ones, they're still in the back, right? So this special feature oh uh, you see the video we're gonna do the smell test i'm gonna start from the small ones first one is angel man by terry mugler and the second one is pie by jihonshi i have a bit of this on my right hand and this one i'll do on my left hand Ooh, i slagged that day it's more like a dab and it's more like a barbershop dish Smell like. It smelled like a dad that like just shaved and then it kind of started smelling like a bit of caramel. I feel like there might be mint. This thing is weird. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell like something you'd smell everywhere. It's kind of familiar, but not familiar at the same time. It's very confusing. Drop some of this. Look at this. Too much. It's alcohol. I can't drink this. I was to describe this, so I would. Th I think there's like lavender in this. I would say there's some caramel in it, probably. I think there's mint. There might be some patchouli. That gives some earthiness. There's a bit of grassiness to this. I think there's vanilla, definitely. There might be small coffee-ish vibe to it, a little bit. But what I could summarize it as is like it has lavender. A bit of freshness, not really citrus in the beginning, kind of barbershop -y vibe in the beginning. And then mid you get a bit of like caramel and stuff. And then like in the base, that's where I get a bit of like that earthiness, like a bit of fresh grass, patchouli-ish, kind of dark chocolate, vanilla. Hmm, it actually smells really nice. It smells like a older man, like you're 45, you just shaved your crusty armpits. I like it. Next one. It's pie by Givenchy. Apply it to my left hand. Let's smell it. This kind of gives me feminine vibes. It kind of smells like a woman perfume. Something I noticed from these little uh, samples, they make your fingers black. The plastic that they use made my finger black. I don't know if that's normal. To me, this Givenchy pie smells a bit like I know there's definitely vanilla in it. That's something you can't mistake from the scent. I also get a bit of, uh, I think it's tonka bean. And then there's some floral touches to it. I know for a fact, like I think it's jasmine or some, some orange blossom perhaps, but I can't really pinpoint where exactly inside the fragrance, what thing is. Mm. I'm starting to get some almondy touch. Perhaps it's benzoin in it. And benzoin kind of smells like vanilla, but a bit darker. But this is a very light scent. I can see where the appeal is, but it's not my favorite. I like vanilla scents, but this is too weak. You said you want to freaking penetrate people's noses. Yeah, like what she said. I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> 
Yeah, I expected more from Givenchy Pie. I was expecting it to be amazing vanilla. There was this one YouTuber, I think Melissa Nass, she, she hyped the crap out of Givenchy Pie. Thank God I did not go out of my way to buy a full one. As a man, and a man knows, this doesn't cut it for me. It's very unisex. I think it smells nice. It kind of smells like pastries, but it's so faint on my skin that it would not do much. It's really a, even like a fragrance. It's kind of like a lotion. And even some lotions that I put on my skin that is scented smell stronger than this. Bath and Body Works lotions smell stronger on my skin than this actual perfume. That's just to show you how light it is. I like it though, it's not that bad. Look at this. Yum, 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 slime. 20% similarity, it just because there's a bit of vanilla. It's a, a, a little spice on it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's cinnamon, but it's so light. And it's like almondy touches. Vanillic, almondy fragrance. Kind of boring, kind of plain. One million by Paco Rabanne. Everybody knows this fragrance because of the bottle. That gold bar is iconic. Yves Saint Laurent, c'est la nuit de l'homme. Big. La Nuit de l'Homme. Everybody says it's the sexiest fragrance. Girls love this shit. People say that this is amazing. So, we gonna see if it's really that good. I'm gonna put this one on my right wrist. Okay. So, right here. Oh, look at that spray. Okay, it's very fresh in the opening. So, I get bergamot right now. But that's where the citruses are coming from, the bergamot. A bit of like lime-ish. It's drying down, you start to get that cardamom, the spice. Creamy cardamom. I can understand why people are hyped this friggin' stuff. This smells like going out on the date. This is the type of fragrance that's like, it's like sexy and fresh. And that's what girls want. They don't want too sweet. They're like fresh. Spicy and sweet. That's like the mixture of all three most important elements, you know? It's water, fire, earth. And what's the other one? I don't know. <laughs> but when you get La Nuit de Long, you get a good mixture of those three. All I know is the longevity is ass. It's boo boo cakes. Like, people talk about it, but it's true. I can almost already not smell it. Like, no wonder they say when you go to pound town, this is when you wear it. Nobody's gonna smell this on you from your body, like your skin. It's not gonna be in the air like that. After three hours, like, this is gone. But it smells nice. I used to have an oil perfumery version of Lenny de Love Intense, which I really loved. It was very juicy, fresh, and had like barely any curve. It was kinda, it was really good. I liked that. I kinda expected that from this. Would you get like a fresh clean, which it, that one from Oil Perfume also had, but except this is more spicy with the cardamom and has like more vanilla. And when they say that people love the originals, there's a reason why, because the sequels don't always live up to the original. So I can understand why people like this one. Not too bad. Is it overhyped, perhaps? Because you're not gonna come to a girl and be like, smell it. Does it smell like a bergamot to you? Gonna... Now, Paco Rabanne's one million for the toilet. Mm, I'm excited for this one. I feel like 100% I've rocked this one before, but left wrist. Oof, this smells like some candy. It also smells like a date night fragrance. This smells like a 24 year old man that's, you know, he get all the bitches. You know what I'm saying? So when I first started smelling Paco Rabanne's 1 million, I first got lavender as one of the notes, also some orangey notes. And then in the mid, I started to get some cinnamon. And I think when it starts to dry down more, there might be a bit of patchouli. Something dark. You know the Rockets candy. The Rockets. And you smash it up. That powder that you get from it. And then that kind of has like some sweetness. It kind of gives me that vibe. The cinnamon. The lavender. It's very, I think it's smooth. It's a very good smell. I like it. You need to have a bit of spice in your life, you know. Now the big dog. One that I never smelled. And I think I'm most excited for is Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecule. So, as some of you guys may be aware of, it's a molecule-based fragrance. So on everybody's skin, it can smell differently. 
and to me that's very exciting let's see the color of the juice oh shit it's literally white like water and apparently the molecule they use in here is iso e super and a lot of people use it for like you know airiness to like project i don't really know much about it but i'm very excited to smell this one because i have absolutely no idea how i'm supposed to expect the smell let's get into it i'm gonna spray it into my like, forearm okay so if you guys can see or not too bad let's smell it to me it smells a bit woody like very light woods and then it has this vibe to it that reminds me of Terre de Romaine's, the Eau de Toilette version, where that vetiver, it has a bit of resins to it, but it's like kind of bitter. But this one has that slight bitterness, but it's not completely bitter. And it's not really fresh at all. I think some people might compare this to pencil shavings, perhaps, because of the woodiness that I got from it. But that, like, some people can't smell it at all. I don't like it. To me, it's like a woody smell with a hint of better to it too. So kind of, I don't know, rooty, like the roots, not too grassy at all, but yeah. So some people can say kind of like pencil shavings. I say ish, I can understand where they're coming from, but to me it's woody and like vetiver, like, but very slight vetiver. It's like the best part of the vetiver inside of Terra del Mez, plus some woods, which is really interesting, because that's how it smells on my skin. I don't know how it will smell on your skin, or how it does smell if you tried it so let me know in the comments that would be very interesting to find out next one prada amber from homme eau de toilette this is a discontinued fragrance one of my last videos was about a discontinued fragrance which was the hugo boss bottled um, intense but also a discontinued fragrance however it's a discontinued fragrance by prada and everybody says that prada is the king of soapy clean powdery fragrances and we're gonna put that to the test. So, left forearm. Prada Amber forearm. Let's see if I'm gonna like it. Wow. It's giving me some type of soap vibe that I've, I've had before in my life. It's kind of like a dark soap, as in clean, but it has some type of spice in it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's myrrh, because I don't really know how myrrh smells like exactly. I believe it could be myrrh that's inside it that gives it this type of vibe in the beginning but it's very powdery it's like exactly like a bar of soap that i had in my house like some type of african soap or something that has like some type of smell it's very just literally smells like soap yeah it smells nice literally like a clean man who just took a shower like soap you smell like soap but expensive soap yeah so it gives me the black african soap vibe it smells nice clean but it's like very spicy-ish. It smells also like really natural. When it dries down, it becomes more powdery. So in the mid, you get more of like vanillas-ish and it becomes really smooth. And then after it also some powderiness. And then it just dries off vanilla with light soapiness. It's very nice. I'd rather take Prada Amber for um than Prada Zalom which everybody hypes up to say is the best part of fragrance. I do not like it. Peppery notes that they have in it, I really don't like it. It ruins it. It has nice iris and stuff and freshness, but no. This to me is the best part of fragrance I've smelled. One of them, behind Prana Luna Rosa Ocean. I really like that one too. I think I'd like that a bit more than this, but this one is more unique. I really, ah, I don't know. Yes, I would say this one is more unique, even though it's soapy. It's not a soapy fragrance you smell everywhere. Now, the last one, the king of blue fragrances, you know, a big dog is from Chanel. It's Bleu de Chanel Papa. I technically smelled this fragrance before. It was at Shoppers Drug Mart. I tested all of the three Bleu de Chanel's, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and the Parfum version. And I came to the conclusion that the Parfum version is the one I like the most. So I decided to get a decant smell it more often on myself and see everybody hypes up the eau de parfum saying that it projects more however it does not last as long but it's more fresh but this one i think is the most complete it has this perfect balance of sweetness freshness you know and also just clean smelling in general so i'll spray it on my right bicep so that all my fragrances will be sprayed on my skin i've got a lot of grapefruit 
I think there might be a lemon, perhaps not. And then it becomes very really dark. I don't know what it is inside, but it might be some incense. And there's a bit of sweetness that is not from fresh ingredients. It's like some tonka bean that might be in the base. And there might be some vanilla, but I like it, but on my skin, I don't like it as much as I expected. Because when I first smelled it, I smelled it on a tester strip. And I liked the parfum version more than the eau de parfum. But now that I smell it on my skin, it has some weirdness to it on my skin that I don't like. It has grapefruit that's mixed, but it's not the grapefruit that's turning me off. It's like if there's mint mixed with some incense and some sweet note that is just turning me off right now. It can smell like some mint in this, and I think it's making it like a weird combination. It kind of gives like a cooling effect. It's weird, but I don't know. I'm kind of not liking the parfum version as much as I used to. So I believe I should now try the Eau de Parfum version on my skin as well. Perhaps I should go in a store and try it and then compare which one I like most. But right now, to be honest, I don't know if I'm such a big fan of the Parfum version. The Parfum version is very mature. I think it's older men who would want to wear such a thing. It kind of gives me similar vibes to the Angel Men. I would say that it's similar because of the mint note that they both share in common, I believe, just from my nose. But what I have to say here is that the British Chanel is so well blended that you can smell the beginning, the middle, and the end. Like when you smell it, you get one, two, and then three. It's pretty incredible. So the craftsmanship in that fragrance, A+. plus. It's becoming more fresh after it dries down. So definitely it's the darker one out of all the fragrances when it comes to the fresh fragrances, especially in the Bleu de Chanel line. Out of three, definitely it's the darkest one. I don't know about how how well blended it is, how perfected it is, or perhaps it is as well, but I think that this one is really the one made for the ones that are daring, the ones that like a fragrance that's different. Even though the British and the DNA is very common, the parfum version is not that common because a lot of people opt for the eau de toilette or the eau de parfum because they're cheaper. However, this one is very well blended, very well crafted. It almost smells like niche designer fragrance, in my opinion, because of the way it's so well blended. So the final ratings. So for the first one, which was Thierry Mugler's Angel Man, I will rate it a 8.5. The dry down is phenomenal. I love that it's so vanilla, like you smell a lot of vanilla. There might be a bit of caramel in it, but it's so good. It smells really, really good, guys. For real, I should definitely look into more of the fragrances from this brand, perhaps. Fragrance number two which was Pie by Givenchy. For this fragrance, it was kind of disappointing to me because I expected it to be way better. In terms of its vanilla smell, I expected it to be more genuine vanilla smelling, but also longer lasting and better blended, to be honest, because it kind of smells weird. Like, it smells very sweet at first, and then you get spicy notes, like the hints of spice, and it's like here and there. It's not consistent and it also kind of smells similar to this slime Nickelodeon slime which has a very synthetic birthday cake vanilla smell and if this could smell like that then that's kind of alarming to me for a fragrance that probably goes for hundreds of dollars so I'll give this one like a 6.5 I, I want to be generous so 6.5 I was gonna give a 7 but I think seven is too high for this one. I'm gonna give it a six point five. Not too bad. I can understand where people can come to like it. However, this is not for me. In the beginning, it was very. I thought it was very feminine, but it's definitely unisex. When it dries down, it starts to lean more masculine because of the spiciness that come in, like the hints of cinnamon. However, it smells a bit play-dohy to me and stuff. So six point five. For Givenchy's pie or the toilet. Next, I was smelling La Nuit de l'Homme, which I sprayed on my right wrist. So, my rating of La Nuit de l'Homme, I have to say, I do enjoy this fragrance. It smells really nice. I understand the hype, but because of the lack and the performance and the amount you need to spray for this to actually work, I'm gonna give it an 8. The smell is phenomenal, definitely it's high up there in the ranks. It's not that crazy because it's, 
it's not strong enough. You know, I like the opening. The opening is amazing. You get a lot of freshness for a month. You know, you get a bit of like, it's juiciness. It's fresh, sweet. And then when it starts to dry down, you start to get cardamom. And it's like there, it's present. But then it fades too quickly. So I have to give it an eight overall because it smells phenomenal. The performance is horrible. And because of that, I have to give it just an eight. This fragrance does not seem like it could even stay for more than four hours. It's literally skin scent after one hour, not even. Half an hour of spraying it on my skin, skin scent. You can tell why people like to put this for the pound town because when you get to pound town, that's when you get close to the pulse points, you start to smell stuff. So that's definitely why people would like to wear this for that. And I would say that I can't blame them. Over bonds one million. So for one million, my rating of that would be I'll give it an eight as well, maybe 7.5. Why would I take off 0.5 from it? I would say because it smells nice, but then it's kind of linear. You know, when you get that cinnamon, that's kind of the main star after all the sweetness in the beginning fades. It's basically just cinnamon and then a bit of other things like patchouli that makes it a bit dark, chocolatey-ish. Not really, but that earthiness is what you really get for the rest of it. As soon as it dries down, it stays like that. So you get very sweet, cinnamon middle, and then sweet cinnamon, like lavender, kind of rock, it's candy smelling. That's like crushed. And then you get cinnamon and patchouli. That's really what I smell so. For that, I'll give it 7.5. So, Molecule 01. How would I rate this fragrance? It smells a bit orangey you now. As I'm doing the rating for Molecule 01, the scent changed a little bit. So I started to get more freshness. It started to become livelier. Like I got some orange notes inside it. But I also got that same woodiness and like a vetery facet to it. So for me, I'll give it 7.5 as well. Interesting, it's intriguing, but I definitely need to get more words out of it. And I feel like it will surprise me. Maybe I like it more. It reminds me a bit of um, Terre Dalmas, except very stripped down, like watered down to the max. And I kind of like it because Terre Dalmas is good, but the vetiver and cedar combination threw me off a lot. It gave me these weird vibes. Like it reminded me of. Uh, Lalix Encre Noir type of vibe, like a very grassy, forest type smell. And whatever is hit or miss for a lot of people, and I think that's the, the same for me. So Molecule 1 on my skin is giving me right now a bit of orangey vibe, like some type of orange, blood orange, I don't know if it's bergamot, whatever. Then I get some, you know, woody vibes, kind of pencil shaving-ish, and then I get some uh, a bed of her. And those are the three notes that I'm getting from Molecule 01 on my skin. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna give it an eight because it's starting to smell better every time. Now it's very just fresh, like orange, fresh. Now the woodiness and the the vertebrae facets of it are really like fading off. I can't even smell them anymore. All I smell is just like orange. This fragrance is so polarizing, it's so strange. But I feel like with time, people are gonna start smelling it more than when you first sprayed it initially, which is very strange. And that's when you're gonna get the compliments. When you think that the fragrance is gone and is finished, it's just gonna start coming up again. I feel like the way your body warms up to it definitely has an impact to it. And I think this fragrance is very safe for any occasion because it will not bother anyone's nose and people will not really notice that you're wearing like a fragrance fragrance you know like a strong one definitely something i need to revisit and actually test fully so if you guys want me to review this fragrance definitely tap in put them post notifications subscribe all of that and i'll talk more about this one how about amber put on now what is my rating overall we gave this one a solid 8.5 i know that it was hyped a lot by the late Kevin Samuels, RIP to that guy, he was a real one, <laughs> always making fun of women but telling them the truth, he was a crazy guy but 
you hype the shit out of this one as well as the bow tie the fragrance got a classic Prada fragrance soapy powdery cream and I definitely like this over most of the fragrances that they've released that I've seen out personally I like it better than the Prada Lum Prada Lum Intense and the only one I won't pick this over is probably Prada Luna Rosa Ocean because that one was you know a different class I really liked it it was like blue fragrance fresh also with some caramel notes it was just wow very good fragrance that I really enjoyed so this one overall 8.5 my last fragrance for this fragrance haul was Bleu de Chanel Parfum with the Bleu de Chanel 8 I love the oranginess that I'm getting right now I like it a lot it has the best of Chanel I might have to try the Eau de Parfum again on my skin to see which one I like best but I'll give it an 8 very solid so anyways if you guys enjoyed my video please comment like and subscribe for more videos and hopefully see you next time bye